A celebrity arrival here at WBOC. No, 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 not Corey. Not Corey. He's been here before. Yeah. Uh, you know him. You love him. We're talking about Marshall P. Muskrat. He took the time out of his busy schedule to come see us. <laughs> he and Main Street Princess and manager Carrie Samus have a lot to update us on this afternoon. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so you have a new campaign. We do. It's called Muskrat Love. Yes. Super cool. So the Muskrat, of course, is the famous uh, the, one of the most famous beings in Princess Anne, Maryland, which is pretty cool. It's one of the things that makes our little town unique for sure. And we want to be able to bring him out more and kind of um, work him into some of the other things that we do. So we have a new muskrat love campaign that we're launching in Princess Anne. And simultaneously, we discovered a really cool, true muskrat love story. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay, before you launch into yes. that. For, for that one person, because I'm sure there's not any more, that doesn't realize the importance of Marshall P. Muskrat. Yes. Tell us why the muskrat image, all in all, is so important to Princess Just Anne. why? 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 <laughs> <laughs> so there are a lot of people that love this muskrat. So um, in 2011, a group of committed volunteers got together and decided to do something unique for New Year's Eve in Princess Anne. And, you know, lots of little towns and, and big cities drop balls and all sorts of things on New Year's Eve. For sure. Well, they decided to um, drop a muskrat instead. Yes. So we are located right in the middle of beautiful Somerset County marshland. And there are thousands of muskrats that live around us. And there's a strong tradition of hunting and trapping in our area as well. People eat muskrats. Um, you see muskrat lodges all over the place. You know, it's just a cool little critter sure. that you can find locally. And um, and now he's our biggest celebrity in Princess Anne. That's wonderful. So you're building this whole campaign around him. And your, your graphics and all of your, um, I guess, designs yeah. are wonderful. And you had a little help with those. We did. Eric Saylor helped us out. And we're very, very grateful for that. So um, we are going to have some stickers and some postcards and buttons available and all sorts of stuff. So you're going to be seeing these images all over the place. And you can pick some up for yourself as mm. well. And you got some good giveaways other than that? We do have good giveaways other than that. So during the month of February, um, what we're going to be doing is kind of launching this social media campaign too. So if you use the hashtags Love Princess Anne and Muskrat Love, you'll enter you'll be entered to win some prizes, including things like flowers from Priceless Flowers, wine from Junior's Wine downtown, a free night stay at oh, the lovely. Washington Inn and Tavern, mm. um, shopping gift certificates, that sort of thing. So there's a great opportunity to win a lot of prizes along the way, uh, along the way also. Wow. And souvenirs, yes. you have some souvenirs? Souvenirs, yes, definitely. We're, so we're actually gonna be giving away stickers and buttons and postcards and things like that this month in our businesses downtown, starting on Valentine's Day. Okay. So starting this week. Didn't didn't mean to take things off the side. No, road, you're fine. Tell us about the muskrat love story. So the while we were planning this, we were already planning this. Um, so crazy. My dad went and got his hair cut, and <laughs> he called me at 7 p.m. after he got his hair cut one night last week, and he said, "You're not going to believe this. The woman who cuts my hair." got engaged at the midnight muskrat drop, drop in Princess Anne. And I was, I couldn't believe it. So of course I called the place where she works immediately and got her story and talked to her at length. She sent me pictures and all sorts of things. So she and her fiance had started dating several years ago. And for their very first New Year's Eve together, they chose to come to Princess Anne. Her fiance, Stephen Williamson is from Princess Anne and they came to the Midnight Muskrat Dive. And then this year, they decided to come back. And when they came back, as Marshall was dropping from Independence Hall downtown, he proposed to he her. He popped the question. And she said yes, ah, which is, so now we get to tell this real muskrat love story, which is super cool. Is Marshall so, gonna officiate? 
Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> so now. He's going to be part of the wedding. <laughs> so now Mariah and Stephen are, are engaged, and we're actually going to treat them to dinner at the Washington Inn for Valentine's Day That's this year nice. because we're so excited that they shared this story with That's us. Fantastic. Yeah, Alrighty. super cool. All right, so uh, Katie has been talking about it all show, yeah. or, you know, all, yeah. all weekend really, <laughs> about how she's going to, she's never had muskrat before. Mm -hmm. So we were like, we gotta take care of that. Absolutely. So she's going to uh, try some muskrat in the Domarva Life kitchen. Any advice for her? Yeah, I mean, it's tasty. You know, I'm excited that you get to try it for sure. Definitely, it's good stuff. All right. And lots of people love it. So we're excited to have um, Renee here cooking it and excited to have her restaurant in Princess Anne and mm -hmm. excited to be able to tell folks about another muskrat dinner opportunity here. <laughs>